And this evening, our focus is going to be on Jesus. First, we'll get started with a word of prayer. So God, we come to you this evening. We just praise you. We thank you. We magnify you. We exalt you for being God and being God all by yourself. We thank you for waking us up this morning and bringing us to this point in time <clears throat> before the foundation of the world. You had already established that those that are going to be on here and look and see what this is, uh, devotional will offer has already been pre-planned pre and predetermined. And so we thank you, God. And so as we focus on Jesus, let us always remember that our focus is on you, Father, and not on our circumstances and situations. So we give you glory and honor. We ask that you would help those that hear to hear the word and not to see me, the presenter, just see and hear from the Father. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So once again, this evening, we're, uh, we are focusing on Jesus and our scripture text is from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. <clears throat> Once again, Mark chapter 6, verses 46 through 52. So it reads as follows. Now they came to Jericho, the they are Jesus and his followers, and as he went out of as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great multitude um, and a great multitude blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Wow. Then they called the blind man saying to him, be of good cheer, rise, he is calling for you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, which is another word for teacher that I may receive my sight. Verse 52, then Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received a sight and followed Jesus on the road. So there's a couple of points that just jumped out at me as I was reading this. In verse 49, Jesus stood still and commanded the man to be called to him. He stood still. He could have kept on walking, but Jesus stood still. Isn't that awesome? Just Jesus had that much compassion like we talked about before. He had that much or I talked about in another sermon before about his compassion, he stood still. And then he said, what do you want me to do for you? So he told him what he wanted, which was to receive his sight. So I was thinking we have blind, Marta, Bartimaeus was a blind beggar sitting on the road when Jesus came to Jericho. He heard it was Jesus and he cried out, have mercy on me. So think about this, first of all, when you focus on Jesus, cry out to him to have mercy on you because you need mercy in that whatever situation you're going through. So cry out to him. When you focus, notice the key word, focus on Jesus. Others may tell you to be quiet and Jesus doesn't even hear you or have time to hear you. Cry out the more louder. Don't pay attention to those naysayers. Um, the third point, <laughs> when you focus on Jesus, don't hesitate to throw aside whatever you have or whatever you're doing and head to him. And that, that's probably going to be in prayer or worship or praise. So when you're focusing on Jesus, somebody is, you, you're going to be doing something. You need to put it aside and go right to him. No longer focus on whatever has, your, have you, has you distracted. Focus on Jesus. And then the fourth point is when you focus on Jesus, state to him what you, your desire is. Don't come about, well, you know, Lord, no, come and state clearly and precisely what your desire is. And then number five, when you focus on Jesus, your faith will capture his attention, your faith. So this is now depending on your faith, where is your faith level? And then also remember that it's according to God's will. So as I close, check yourself. Are you focusing on Jesus or the situation? Are you focusing on Jesus or only an answer? 
when you focus on Jesus, make sure your focus is on your faith to believe that he will answer. Okay, so thank you for joining us this evening. We're going to close out this evening in prayer, as always, and thank you for joining us. So God, we come to you this evening. We thank you for this time of coming together to focus on not just Jesus, but God and the Holy Spirit, because they're three in one. We're focusing on the ones that can get us through. Our God, our Father, his son, Jesus, who hung, bled, and died on the cross for us, for our sins. Nothing he did wrong, but what we have thought by word and deed and done wrong. And the Holy Spirit who brings us comfort and gives us the truth. And so, God, we just thank you this evening. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you mean in our lives. And then we never want to go away from this without letting those know that have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. <clears throat> that according to Romans 10 and 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Just believe it. Just that simple. Believe it. And so we thank you, God, for those that will believe. We thank you that once they believe, they'll get under the teaching and a powerful anointing ministry where they can learn and grow in the word of God. And they won't focus on man. They won't focus on the people that are around them in the church. Because sometimes the people in the church have caused people to go away and have been hurt because of people saying things in the church. Don't focus on that once you give your life to Christ. Focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Focus on Jesus, the healer. Focus on Jesus who provides your every need. Focus on Jesus who said he would never leave you or forsake you. That's what you want to focus on once you turn your life over to Christ. Not whatever's going on in the church, not whatever people are doing. Focus on you. Go there to get the word and be fed. Go there to praise and worship. Go there to go to altar call. Go there for the communion. But you can do communion at home. But anyway, I, I digressed. I'm sorry. Um, but go and focus on Jesus, even wherever you're at. And so we thank you this evening, Father, because we want to keep our eyes fixed on you. We want to keep our focus on our Savior, our Lord and Savior, who once again hung, bled, and died for our sins, that we have the right to eternal life, that we have the right to salvation. And so we praise you, we thank you, we magnify you, and we just give you glory. We just lift up this nation. We lift up the body of believers. We lift up the, those that don't believe. We lift up our neighbors. Have mercy, God. And we just praise you and thank you. And it's in Jesus' mighty, matchless, powerful name we pray. Amen. See you next time.